So there we go, I just met up with Ken at the services and apparently we're off to Ilfracombe. That's where my Ken tours go in today. Uh, now for those of you who don't know Ken, he's had his BMW since, since 1982 or 84, something like that. Beautiful bike and uh, it's when, well I would say BMW were uh, at their finest really before they started to uh, get over tacky fied should we say there's a word for you but yeah very nice chap and um you know uh, it's just so nice when you do this youtube like that you meet people uh, like ken that are willing to take out newbies because you know that you know he can ride at the end of the day and he's going to take me on some pretty basic stuff i would imagine uh, compared to what he can handle so uh, it's really kind of him to do that and take me out so yeah I'll catch up with you when we get to more interesting stuff literally just turned into this lane and I'm already getting excited <laughs> and apprehensive when I see the leaves uh, that lane was too much for me too much for me that lane <laughs> Joking. <laughs> just a quick warning guys before we get too much into it that there is some heavy swearing in this so if there's kids around you don't want them to hear it then um, chuck them out of the room and uh, send them upstairs with some chocolate or something and sweets and also a lot of heavy breathing as well so uh, if you're a lady and uh, a bit faint hearted then uh, I should switch off as well so yeah, apologies about the heavy breathing, but hey ho. Oh, fuck. All right, enjoy it, guys. It's a good one. Nearly. Stuck in a rut. Best place to be, I think. <laughs> oh, fuck. On roadie tyres as well. Doesn't help. Could do some knobblies here. Heavy breathing time. Oh fuck! <laughs> I didn't take long. I didn't take long, did it? <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it is, isn't it? Don't help on them, does it? <laughs> Thank you, man. I got him. Tell you what, this lineage is never ending with Ken. How does he find these places? What a lovely bridge. Oh, another nice little bridge here. Uh, look, I'm not going to rev bomb far too grown up for that. Oh, hit the bottom man. Oh no, pick your line, where am I going? Oh, shit! <laughs> going around the left hand side. Oh yes. Magnetic, don't even look at it. Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how it works, but it does. So you got to stay to the right? Yeah, just... Hopefully that was the rut from hell. I hope it was. I'm just following his line, to be honest with you. Oh, that might be rut from hell. Don't even look at it, he said. Fuck. Oh, 
shit. I was going sideways then. Bit of weight on the right peg. Tell you what, this Himalayan, one thing it's very good at. First gear, going slow, uphill, under pressure. Torque is perfect for that. Stuck, oh shit, on it. Me not like this rut at all. Oh, get me out. I can't look left. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's a rut from hell. Look away. Oh. Oh, this is testing me. Oh. oh, shit. Don't look at the rut from hell. Do not look at the rut from hell. Oh. Oh. oh, fuck. Nearly. Come on, baby. That was a wrap from hell. I wasn't even looking at it. Uh, uh, uh. Stop breathing, sorry, I've had the breathing. Uh, 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 uh. I thought I was in the edge then. Yeah. yeah, when you said don't look at it, I looked at it, I went, no. <laughs> oh, it's a Ford. Oh, that looks a little bit deep for this time of year. Oh, oh shit. Full send. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, there's a sea over there, look. Gateway with a view and all that. Here we are, this is the spot which I've seen on Saddlebags and uh, Epic Motorcycle Adventures uh, channel so many times. I've always wanted to come here. And there it is. Not on a sunny day, but still. Beautiful spot, beautiful spot. I want to look at, look at the view, but I want to watch where I'm going at the same time. Because you know what I'm like today? Apparently there's some nicer views up the top, which would be great. What a lovely, beautiful spot. And you're allowed to ride your bike up here. Fantastic. I've seen this so many times on Epic Motorcycle Adventures uh, videos and saddlebags. Stream goes through it down there, look. Lovely jubbly. Beautiful. Starting to feel a little bit more confident in a good way on the muddy stuff. Loads of streams running downhill here. Oh, slippy slidey. Oh, shitty buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was it and miss. Gripping the bars again here. <laughs> and here comes the rain. To ruin that beautiful shot. Oh, shit. No traction at all. Come on. 
Oh shit, I've got nothing here whatsoever. Spinning the back wheel, getting nowhere. Ken's just plodding along there, lovely look. <laughs> Maybe I should let some tire air at me tires. I haven't had a chance to look at the view. Oh wow, look at that behind me. Pissing down the rain. Alright. Oh, come on. Come on, up you go, up you go, up, 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 up. Zero traction, man. I don't mind that uphill, but not down. If I want concentrating so much, so I uh, might get some more shots. Look at that. Come on, mate, I didn't think I was going to get up there then. It's... Yeah, yeah, I didn't get nothing out of it, like. <sighs> Apparently there's a bit of a gnarly bit down here. I'll be glad when I get over that bit, to be honest with you. And I do remember it again from Saddlebags videos and uh, Epic Motorcycle Adventures. It's not that bit, I wish it was. Um, yeah, I do remember it from their videos, so when I'm over that I'll be very happy. I must admit, these tyres haven't been much cop at all for doing this. It kind of ruins it, it's the wrong word, but it's just just be nice not to have that situation and just be able to enjoy it a little bit more knowing that the tyres are doing their job. Oh, this is it here. Shit me. Fucking hell. That's all right, roll it. Hopefully that's it. I can ABS, piss off. Oh shit. I can't hold it back here. Oh, praise the Lord. There you go. Breathe. <laughs> oh dear. Now there's me stood up, Ken, uh, I just had a word with Ken, oh, I'll just get through this, just had a word with Ken just now, just saying, uh, is there anything you recommend I do? I said to him I was uh, like a little duckling, just before I came off earlier. Uh, I was concentrating on this, fuck, oh, now it's close. I'm sat down again. Get up on your legs, you asshole. Oh, no by the wind there. Yeah. There's no braking on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> ABS is a pain in the ass as well, isn't it? Sometimes. Yeah. No. Nah. Yeah. Only by pulling the fuse. But I wouldn't do that to Royal Enfield. <laughs> No, it's good, to, it's good to challenge yourself on these things. And really, it's that whole thing in life, isn't it? Where, uh, if you don't push yourself, you're not doing anything, are you? So, do something that scares you every day. I've made up for about a month's worth of that. Oh, fuck! So far, language. I hate it when the front end goes like that. Yes, so do something that scares you every day. And uh, it keeps... Oh, fuck! Done it again. Well, I'm not going to say that anymore. Oh, I'm starting to get in duro mode now. Yeah, that is the problem on this bike. Oh, with these tyres, I'm finding is just 
those cambers, I guess you get it on any bike really, but when you haven't got the right, well, the right tyres, all things considered, it's, it does really <laughs> make it a lot, lot harder, certainly on the slippy, slaty stuff. And the, and the mud, the mud, you just get no traction whatsoever on the mud or the... Just keeps churning up, flicking up and getting nowhere. That bit where I was on the cliffs earlier, I was just spinning all the way through. No traction at all. Speed is your friend, as Dave Thorpe told me once. Until it's not your friend anymore. And it bloody hurts. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, this could go very wrong. I've just got to go for it. I'm going to get wet. Yeah, definitely. Water in me boots. I made it! Oh, not again. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! i got a full send this because... Oh, my boots are filled with water! <sighs> I need to go back a bit now. <sighs> my boots are filled with water. Ready for it now, uh, Hemi? Here we go, go. <laughs> I'm wet now, I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> oh, I eat you all day, Adam. <laughs> That's how you do it. Oh. Uh, tarmac. Oh. oh, how wonderful. What a wonderful invention. <laughs> no, it's great. It's good, good fun. It's pushing me. And it's pathetic uh, why it's pushing me, to be honest with you, because it's all light duty stuff. However, conditions are pretty shocking, aren't they, to be fair to myself. Oh, back here again. I know where we are now. Beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Absolutely brilliant, Ken. Good man. Thank you very much. Really enjoyable going up there. I love that. Be lovely in the summer. I think I deserve extra man points anyway, because Saddlebags and um, Epic done their ride on there in the summer. And it's nice and dry and just a little bit damp, whereas I've gone full legend and done it in the, uh, in the floods. <laughs> Off-road is, as we all know, it really feels at home this bike when it's going over rough terrain and muddy surfaces. Uh, the tyres, the stock tyres should I say, are very road biased, so you're not going to get too far on them, but you're definitely going to get further than what you will do on a lot of bikes. Big 21 inch front wheel on the front, which counts for a lot, obviously. And uh, yeah, seat in position and you know, stood up on the bars, you, your arms are out straight in a nice manner nothing too extreme um, yeah I mean it, it's as an off-roader this is exactly uh, what you want as a beginner would I prefer a, like a Vos 300 or a CRF for off-road yeah definitely because they do lend themselves to that a bit more but this has got that good balance between a road commuter stroke traveling bike um, to going off-road as well so Kind of best of all worlds there, really. So there you have it. That is the brilliant Royal Enfield Himalayan 411. Uh, it's kind of a shame that they're discontinuing it. Um, I can see why they are. You know, things do move on. Uh, but this bike offered something that the new 450 uh, hasn't offered. You know, if you dropped it, it didn't really matter. You know, you feel you could drop it, pick it up and just bend it back into place. Could you do that with a new one? It's probably just a little bit too nice, the new one, for that type of riding. But I'm sure the new one would be fantastic off-road as well. It was a brilliant chug-around bike. Uh, you know, what amazed me really is how slow you can go while at the same time still having a lot of power there. 
to pull yourself through even the most difficult bits of terrain. So although I don't have much of an attachment to the 411, uh, I, I, I am going to miss it being sold. I, I think uh, that it's, it's opened the doors for so many people to get on a bike which will take them anywhere uh, on any roads, and it really did. So well done 411, and if you're wondering whether you should keep your 411 or upgrade to a 450, I think most people want to keep their 411s. It is a different bike than the 450, both equally as good as each other in my opinion, for different reasons. I want to thank Ken for taking me out on the lanes, he's an absolutely brilliant bloke and uh, we're very lucky to have him down here and uh, yeah thanks very much for that Ken. His bike is absolutely stunning, uh, it's the old BMW R80, beautiful machine and it's always nice to see Ken and always nice to see his bike as well so thank you Ken and uh, no doubt we'll be catching up on a, a different bike hopefully I might be able to uh, coax you out again out of your sofa and uh, out on a ride again but thanks very much. Also, don't forget to watch the Angel Steps video that I made with Saddlebag73 and Epic Motorcycle Adventures and a couple other guys. Um, it's a brilliant video. It, it didn't do very well, but it is actually a really good watch and I can highly recommend it. So if you get time after this, then go on to watch that. Uh, also, Saddlebag73 has made a video of the Angel Steps day and as has uh, Epic Motorcycle Adventures as well. So yeah, I'll leave a link at the end of the video for that. It's worth a watch. Okay guys, if you could like the video, that would be a massive help to me and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.